That's so brilliant. This video is sponsored by Case Filters. This is me, and there's a good reason why I smile from one ear to the other. Now, my winters tend to be quite hard and stressful, with lots of works and projects. But now, there comes the time of year when everything turns positive. When I just grab my van, my camera gear, and drive anywhere where it's beautiful. Just to spend some time there, to explore and to photograph. And oh man, I love to photograph. And this is it. This is the start into a new season of landscape photography. Hi, my friends. Very nice to see you. I'm super, super excited today because I'm making a road trip at the moment. I, I'm visiting different places here in Austria, uh, some brooks, some amazing woodland maybe here and, uh, here and there. Uh, waterfalls even. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't have a, a, a strict plan or something like that. Uh, I just came down here now with my APC camera just to yeah, work on some ideas. Maybe to come back tomorrow, I don't know, or even uh, the other time of the year, I don't know. It's really interesting here, we have lots of uh, mushy trees everywhere here, some rocks. Uh, this tree is amazing. Uh, this one here also works here right now, although the light is quite harsh because it's, everything is in the shadow. And yeah, I, I took already a test shot and I would say I will yeah, look for some more possibilities and fingers crossed that we will find something really, really amazing. Uh, days like these are so important in landscape photography. The light is harsh and you don't have all the many possibilities for photography because you don't think all that much about photography and that's good actually because yeah I really get connected and uh, I think it's also a really fantastic start into landscape photography season if we want to call it like that. So yeah it's really beautiful here. I came over to the other side of this brook because uh, yeah, there were not more possibilities to, to go to the brook and the water is so deep here. Yeah, I also have my weight trousers here with me, but I, I fear it's really possible. It's also too strong, the water here. The one thing I hoped was uh, that I would have a little bit more leaves. It's still starting, it's still starting to get green. I think it, it will take a little bit longer here. Oh yeah, however, it's kind of beautiful and I'm really, really enjoying this day. It's really amazing, it's really fantastic. So many rocks lying around here in the brook. And I really like this uh, rock here where the water runs around this, in, this, in this fantastic way here. And also this um, mossy rock back there, which got illuminated at the moment. It will not be like that uh, tomorrow morning, but yeah, I tried it with, uh, yeah, handheld, you know, just uh, the lines of the water, the, the light spot back there. And yeah, it looks really, really fantastic. so many great possibilities for compositions. I just look back there, there's uh, this, uh, curved trees here. We could really uh, use them nicely to frame our image. Uh, things like that, but uh, the only thing is we would need a little bit of more of uh, leaves on the, on the trees. It's, uh, yeah, they, they just start. And when I look back there, the light is shining through, so they start to, to, to glow a little bit. But we need a little bit more volume up there, and, and that's, uh, yeah, that's a little bit missing.
place is absolutely mystical. It is truly really amazing. So many rocks in the, in the, in the brook. So much dead wood also there and where, and this makes it quite difficult um, to, to build up clean compositions. Also, with all the branches from, from the trees going into a frame, um, you would need to walk into the, the water. It's not possible, as already mentioned. It's quite deep and it's also strong, the water. So no possibility here. Uh, anyway, I found some possibilities for photography. Lots of possibilities, actually. But most of them I would uh, prefer to photograph at another time of year. I found some possibilities also for tomorrow morning, so I will definitely come back. Yes, my wife is not joining me. It's just something quick I will make here right now for dinner. Very good morning. Now, the problem is, it's not allowed to park here earlier than uh, six o'clock. And uh, it had been better to arrive already half an hour earlier. So, because I, I don't know if I will, if I will be uh, quick enough in setup. Oh man, it's so muddy here, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, that I will be early enough in setup. And I don't get uh, every, uh, the backdrop illuminated and so. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> Yeah, now what I'm doing is uh, I, I, I picked out one spot, um, this one with the tree. This is the one photograph I want to take. There are also some more possibilities at the other side of the, of the river and the problem is really, will I be there fast enough then at the other side because I have the same problem uh, to get yeah, also the background. Uh, it's even more a problem there. And I think here at this tree it's also a problem when the tree gets hit by the sun. I don't want that in this case. Uh, because I don't, I don't have control all too much. Maybe the first, the first subtle um, sunbeams or so, uh, some, some spot, uh, sunspots are there where I'm not sure, but it's always good to be early enough. Uh, especially also when it's a bit more compact uh, composition so that yeah, we have plenty of time to uh, go and set up. It is so magical, it's so fantastic. Just look over there. This tree looks like a creature or so which uh, grows out here from the rock. And also the rocks itself, uh, just look uh, at the shapes of the rocks. It's amazing, these uh, round uh, rocks here, these curves and so and everything. Also the branches, there's, there's so many repeating patterns there. And now uh, what I did is a quite important thing that uh, I lined all the, the branches in a way where I think it adds most. Um, so I overlapped uh, smaller branches in, in front of uh, big branches or I tried to separate branches and so on. I took quite a long time here now therefore although I, yeah, as already mentioned I also want to take a photograph uh, at the other side but anyway I, I think the most important thing is to get the one photograph uh, finished really finished thought uh, to the end and I, I think I, I'm really happy with this here and quite, uh, one, one, one thing by the way um, first I, I tried a long lens because yeah I, I prepared this uh, composition already yesterday but I was also a little bit more in that direction so <laughs> Yeah, it's when you, when you check uh, too many uh, different possibilities, it could be that you, yeah, it's all in the morning, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, uh, I'm at uh, F11, um, ISO 100, and uh, yeah, we have uh, multiple seconds of exposure. But it's not a, a biggest problem because uh, everything is really still. There's really no wind going. I mean, it's always a problem with water. It's always uh, get rushed through and it can lead to a little bit of wind, but nothing here. It's really good, so um, yeah, I really like this. And yeah, I would say, where's my remote, Luis? Uh, let's make the click. Thank you. 
cool thing when you photograph uh, woodland scenes like that is also when we don't have direct sunlight here right now uh, there comes always a little bit light through no, no direct sun beams or so it's, it's just you know um, yeah it's, it's um, there are things a little bit more in the shadow there are things more where it comes a little bit of soft light through and so on and with a, a polarizer a circular polarizer we can bring this all out and it, it really gives a fantastic plasticity then I know I always try to photograph the soul of the place. Uh, this means I want to tell the story of the place and uh, actually I got attracted by all these rocks and, and this was uh, a thing I knew already before I came here to this place. And here are many amazing rocks in the, in the river and I think the rocks tell the story of this place but not only because yeah, the trees are so amazing so I, I think this shot here is really yeah it's, it's a part of the soul of this place to be honest and now we will go over there and we will photograph some rocks in the river so let's go This is absolutely incredible. It's really amazing. And when you look back there, the sun is already going down here, so that's not good for the backdrop. Uh, but fortunately, here where I'm going to take the photograph, there is a rock back there, so it, it still gives a shadow, so I'm really grateful therefore. It's much better to take the photograph here right now. And what I try to do is, I'm, I got attracted by all these triangle shapes, by these repeating patterns, these diagonals everywhere in this composition. First I tried a, a, a portrait orientation composition with uh, this um, boulder here is a leading line. I will show you through right now. It doesn't really work, to be honest. Uh, the right uh, rock here, yeah, it, it, it brings it out of balance, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, I, I found a composition. And um, what I do right now is I, I use the, the water as a leading line. I use the rock at the left-hand side, the rock at, at, at the middle here with this uh, amazing triangle shape. And there are more rocks uh, with these triangle shapes. And this repeating pattern is really fantastic in this composition. And yeah, we have the floating water, we have a little dead wood there. Yeah, it's really fantastic. On the technical side, I'm at F14, ISO 400. Yeah, I need ISO 400 to get uh, my shutter speed to an eighth of a second. I have a circular polarizer on and a very important thing is I tried for different polarization levels. It's not good to bring the polarization totally down because especially the, the glare here at this nose from this uh, yeah, uh, triangle shaped rock here where the water comes down looks really fantastic and it's an important point uh, where we need the viewer's eyes to rest there so it's really important there. So I would say let's make the click. fantastic all these rocks in the river it's amazing now what I realized already at the composition before is that the water level is uh, lower than yesterday so yeah I think some compositions what I thought would work today don't work because of that and yeah also as I already mentioned the light comes already uh, back there harsh light it's not really ideal uh, but I think this place is amazing especially in autumn maybe because when you look around everywhere yeah, branches uh, going into the river and so on. So yeah, I could imagine. Also when maybe the level is quite low with weight trousers maybe, uh, so that you have more possibilities to go there and where, wherever you want actually. But anyway, I'm, I'm more than happy with the photographs I got. And the most important thing is I, I really got connected here to this place. And yeah, now I will uh, drive to another spot. I will check it out. And um, I think this, this is even better one than, than this here. <laughs> I will link you the next video here from the next spot. And my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.